channel according to cat if you are new here please introduce yourself in the comments below if you're returning just say hi and what are we be making today hey everyone I'm so excited to bring you today's three fall DIYs I used Dollar Tree and other really affordable products along with the DIY home kit chocolate if you want to see how I made it stay tuned if you'd like to know what supplies I've used check out the description box below with all that being said let's get right into the video DIY number one, glass honey pot. So the first thing I did was I took this little piece that comes off of the Dollar Tree box frames and it's usually in the middle of them and I save everything. So I pulled those off and I used some Waverly chalk paint in white and I gave this two good coats because that pink really tended to show through. So I wanted to make sure you could not see any of that. As that was drying, I took this Dollar Tree glass jar and I gave this also two good coats. And this covered really well. I love Waverly chalk paint for that reason. So let me ask you a question. Who else talks to themselves while crafting? Please do not say I'm alone. I had to let you hear a bit of this. Oh, I forgot to take the sticker off the bottom. Oh, that'll bother me. Oh, I have issues. Come on. Whoops. Let me see if I can get this off without messing up everything. It's not coming. I'm gonna try the heat. Labor if I do the heat. I see people do this all the time. Will it work? I don't know. But let's heat it up. Okay, I decided to paint over it because, yeah, it didn't work. <laughs> so, so I'm just gonna paint over the bottom. I was laughing so hard when I was editing this because it was already on fast motion and I was listening to it and I just was laughing just because, yeah. So please tell me you talk to yourself while crafting as well. So I don't feel crazy. Okay, let's move on. So I did the lid of this glass piece as well. And now I'm taking my Waverly chalk paint in mineral after that pot has dried. And I really liked this pot because it looked like a honey pot. And it just really went with the whole theme of the vignette. So I am taking my brush that it makes it very chippy looking because it just the way that the bristles are on it. And I love to use this brush to distress all of my pieces. So I'm just doing the same thing on the lid that I did on the bottom and I put that aside to dry. Now I'm taking that little circle, that wood piece circle that I made, and I am going to take this chalk couture paste. It is a chalk paste. And I will show you how I use the whole chalk couture DIY set in my last DIY so you will have to stay tuned to see if I like it. So right now I'm taking the gray and I'm just kind of pasting on the chalk paste and I will show you how cute this turns out. And let me just pull this right up and there we go. We have a little bee on there. So cute. And I'm going to glue that right onto the pot. I got a little bit of um, paste on it from it being on my hand. Now there is a little wood piece in the back and usually I can just pull that off with my hands. That was not happening. So at first I, I just thought, you know what, I'm just going to glue this on the way it is because I'm not going to try to finagle getting it off. And then it really stuck out super far. I did not like it. So I decided to take my Dollar Tree hacksaw and try to hacksaw it off. <laughs> Let me just tell you, I was doing it forever and I got nowhere. So then I tried uh, other things. It just wasn't working. So I brought it up to my husband and I said, can you please get this off? And he got off within like a second. He used pliers and it worked perfectly. So now I just hot glued it right on to my faux honey jar and it looked so cute. I love it. Now I just need something to tie around the top of it and that would be perfect. So I'm just using the Dollar Tree twine and wrapping it around and yeah, tying a little knot. That's all I'm doing. Super simple, but yet super cute. And just 
I just did a little knot. You can do a bow, you could do a different type of ribbon, but I just really liked the natural look of this. I shortened it a bit and this DIY is done. I hope you like it as much as I do. Okay, TOI number two, cans of fall florals. The first thing I did was I took this wooden tag from Walmart and I wanted to write on it with a Sharpie. It bleeds if you do not put Mod Podge on it. So that is what I'm doing. I'm doing the spray Mod Podge, but you can use the regular Mod Podge as well. You get 10 in a pack from Walmart. I love these tags. And yeah, so I'm giving it a light coat. I was originally going to put this on the pot, but I decided I wanted it on the cans because I didn't like the way it looked on the pot. Now to hold the florals, I'm using two tin cans and my Waverly chalk paint in white. The cans I chose were, one is a regular soup size can and the other one it holds baked beans. So it's tall and uh, you know, thinner. It's not as fat as like the diced tomato cans, but I really like the two shapes together. So that's why I use these. I gave both cans two good coats and I left the inside plain because you won't see it anyway, but I did do the bottoms because you know, I need to do that. And now I'm taking this Kirkland ribbon that I got from Costco and I got it last year at Christmas time and I'm just showing you, I'm starting where the glue is um, that you would normally have on a can to hold the label. I got this ribbon last year at the holidays and I love getting ribbon at the holidays, especially at big box stores like this because you can get huge quantities and I just try to pick ribbon that you can use year round. So I thought this was a perfect brown burlap type ribbon to use whenever I wanted and it's perfect for fall as well. So I just take two of the pieces and I glue them on next to each other. Now you won't see that they're two pieces because I'm going to put a a ribbon in the middle. Now I got this at Hobby Lobby and you get all of those black ribbons in one pack for $9.99, but make sure you use your coupon so you get it for a lot less. I really like the black ribbon I chose. It is black with some white stitching on the ends and it looks really cute. I love it with the whole look of everything. So I burned the edges just so they do not fray and I'm just putting on a little hot glue and I will wrap it around the middle and then I will hot glue it back around. And it looks so cute and you can leave it just like this, just with a little band around it. But you know how I like to do right like that. So cute. I like to use my flat bows and I just take, they're so easy to make and I just like them because they look, I don't know, streamlined and I don't know. I just like the way they look. So I just kind of wrap it around it like onto itself. So it just looks like a loop. And then I take another piece and I just put it around the center just like this. Super easy. And I hot glue the back and put it on right there. Super easy flat bow. Very cute. Now I'm going to do the same thing with the smaller can. I do put the burlap ribbon closer together just so it looks, I don't know, <laughs> it looks good, I guess. And I did the same thing wrapped around the black band and I made a little flat bow. I do love my flat bows, I do. And now I am ready, so cute, to put in my, to, for my smaller can, I'm going to use this Dollar Tree uh, maple bouquet. And it has some really cool fall leaves, some berries, and a small little uh, pumpkin. So cute. I'm just finagling it to, until I like it. And I just love how that looks. Very fall, very cute. And now I'm taking these Dollar Tree cattail in brown and I also have two in gold. And I'm showing you just bend the bottoms to make it fit however you want. 
and I just cut off the tags and put those in. So I have three cattails and then I will move on to the florals. So I'm just kind of maneuvering those around as well. And now I'm taking these sunflowers from Dollar Tree. I have two of them and I'll just bend the bottoms and I will insert those as well. And now I'm just going to move them around until I add my next piece. I was going to stop here, but I realized it needed a little something just to fill it out just a bit more. So I'm using these Dollar Tree dahlias, and I, when I put those in, it was the perfect amount of florals in this. Not too much to overcrowd it, but just enough to make it look really full. And here are the two pieces together, and I just think they turned out so cute. And now I'm just taking that wooden piece, and I'm taking my Sharpie and writing honey on the tag and because of the spacing I realized I needed it to say something else so right beneath that I wrote the word fresh and remember if you are liking this video please give it a thumbs up it really helps my channel grow and if you haven't already I would love if you would subscribe to my channel I upload every week with new DIYs and other hauls and inspirations and other type of videos. Now I just use some twine. I put that through the wooden tag and tied it around the taller can, put a little knot and cut off any excess and it looks so cute and I love both of them together. I hope you like these as much as I do. Okay, DIY number three, chocolate honey sign. So this is how the whole thing came about. A really good viewer friend of mine reached out to me and told me about chocolate. I never even heard of it, so I was intrigued and she asked if she could send me a kit to try it out. I was, of course, loving this idea. So she sent me some pieces so I could try it out. So what she sent me were these really cool stencil, I don't even know if I should call them stencils because they're more like print screen prints, screen, print screen prints. <laughs> and she sent me three of them and I decided on the honey one. This is a chocolate chalkboard that she also sent me. I filmed this so many times, I cannot speak right now. And it is only six o'clock at night. Okay, so I love this chalkboard, but the great thing about the paint, chalk paste, it's not even paint, is that it comes off so I can change it whatever my mood or whatever the season. And then she sent me this really great goodie box filled with all DIY stuff. Oh my God, how awesome is she? I'm gonna show you how I use everything in a voiceover. Okay, so the first thing it says for me to do is, it has the instructions right on the package. And the first thing it says to do is to survey your space. <laughs> I'm gonna survey my space. Okay, so first thing I wanna do is make sure that I have this at the top so that if I wanna hang it, I can. And I can either do it this way or this way. And I actually like this way better, but I don't know how it's gonna fit. But I still can do it with surveying my space. Um, or else I have this one. This one's kinda of cute too. Which one should I do? Ah. Uh, I think I'm gonna do this one. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna do it this way. Let me make sure. Now, see that wasn't right because look, that has to be at the top. Let me make sure that's at the top. Okay, I surveyed my space. Now the next thing it says: determine the number and size of projects you desire. Okay, step three: select the surfaces that speak to you. <laughs> Build your design story one project at a time. And on the back, it tells you how to transfer. These are the directions I'm really looking for. So it says, 
Peel transfer pulling straight. Do not pull diagonally. Ba 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 ba. Defuzz my stickiness. All right, so let's do that first. All right, so let's open this up. I'm a little nervous about this. I don't know why, but I am. But I guess you can always clean it off and try again. That's the nice thing about this. Oh, this feels weird. I like that. It smells like it smells like perfume. Okay, so this is like rough. I was expecting it to be smooth. It's rough. Um, it smells like literally like a very strong perfume. I don't know why. Okay, so I think the first thing I'm gonna do. Did they say to cut it? See, I don't even. This is why I'm not good at this. All right, cut design into individual pieces before using. Okay, so I have to cut the design. All right, so let me get my scissors and I'm gonna cut it up on these. See how they gave me the lines on there? Do you see those lines? I'm gonna cut it right. I cannot believe how strong this smells of perfume. They aren't kidding when they say sweeter than honey. Okay. So I'm gonna cut that up, and then we have other lines here. And now I'm just gonna cut the top pieces. All right. Now I'm just going to lay them out. So this is definitely gonna be at the bottom. This is definitely gonna be at the top. And then these pieces I can kind of make a few of. So if I had a do it my way, I would do that, that, and then like a little thing over here. Okay, so I can eyeball this and kind of see. All right, that's good. So that's how I'm kind of going to do it. Maybe put that there. And then a couple, like a B here and a B there. All right, so let me just peel one off. We'll start with the top one. Did they say don't peel at a diagonal? I don't even know what that means. They said peel the blue, not the white. So I'm gonna turn it upside down a minute while I get this. Okay. What does that mean, don't peel at a diagonal? All right, okay, so I'm just gonna, okay, just peel it straight off. Okay, so what I saw people do is that this is the front. It's nice and silky and shiny, and this is matte. So I saw people. Oh, my pencil. They were. I can't forget that. That's the shine. Wait. Oh, now I forgot. Because they both feel silky now. Oh, darn it. Okay, that's definitely shiny. Okay, let me just take a marker. Okay, that's the back. Oh my gosh, I can't believe how much this smells like perfume. Is that really supposed to be smelling like that? I'm not quite sure. All right, so let me just kind of put this on. All right, I'm scared. Oh wait, I gotta defuzz. See, teachers are the worst. All right, so I'm just gonna defuzz it on my shirt. Is that weird? Okay, all right, that's good enough. I can see that there's fuzz on there. I don't know. Anyway, let's see. All right, so I'm gonna put this on. That's definitely not centered. Okay. All right, that's good. All right. <laughs> Why am I so nervous about this? This is so weird. All right, so some of the colors that she gave me, a lot of them would go nice with this. We have a yellow, a white, a gray, Hold on, I'm coming. I have a gray and two greens. But I think I like that green better. And I like that yellow, but I think I like it mixed with some white. I don't know, let me see. Um, oh my gosh, she gave me a card. I didn't even see this. It says cat on the front. <gasps> oh. That was so sweet. Oh, just so you know, the front of it says, make every day a work of art. That's so sweet, so sweet. Okay, so I have the little 
squeegee which is like bendy it's i don't know it kind of feels like um like the er pink erasers you get in school and then i got this thing which i think i think you spread it out with that if i had a guess and yeah all right so i think i'm going to use white because i like white and i'm just going to use white for now i think that's good that's what i'm going to use so i'm going to open this up why am i so nervous stop it oh and then i have this little oh okay so they said you're supposed to mix it to the point of to the point of that it's like yogurt so I guess I'll use, should I use this? I guess I'll just use this. Oh, it's really thick. Now they said you can add like a spritz of water to it to get it. Do you see how thick that is? That's more like cottage cheese. Should I put a little water in there? But they said a spritz. So let me do this because I know me. I'm gonna put like the tiniest bit in this cap and then I'm just gonna I'm just going to put the tiniest little drop okay I'm gonna put it in the lid I'm gonna see if that matters Well, it definitely got smoother. All right, let's get some more water in here. I hope I'm not messing this up. Literally, we're just tiny drops, so. All right, let me stir this and then I'll be right back with you. I remember the video saying either make it look like yogurt or marshmallow fluff, which I think those are completely different consistencies, but I think this is more like fluff, so I'm going to go with the fluff consistency. All right, so it said that you literally only need, you know what, and I'm just going to do this one too, because I'm going to be doing both of these in the same color, because I'm boring and I'll do other colors elsewhere. Oh, see, should I do it in yellow? I don't know. Oh, all right. I'm just sitting here thinking, wasting your time, so. Okay, so I'm gonna take that off. I'm just gonna do it in white. I can always change it if I want. And I'm just gonna line it right up with the bottom. And those look straight. That looks good. Oh my gosh, I'm so nervous. Okay, so the cool thing about this, and I don't know if you can see it, and I doubt you can, but notice like that a doesn't connect on the sides let me find something bigger like those circles in the nine and the eight they're not connected to the sides and the reason they're not is because there's like a silk in the middle of that so that's what's holding those circles in notice see the o the o here how there's nothing holding that center of the o in if you know what i mean so it's almost like a silk screen all right so that is really cool and i feel like it's gonna help with the bleeding all right so i'm just gonna oh my gosh i'm so nervous i'm just gonna go like this and it said you need very little bit okay and then you're gonna scrape i'm so scared and then you're gonna scrape some off I don't even know if I'm doing this right. Does it look right to you? Oh gosh, I'm so nervous. Oh, I didn't do the other one. I didn't put it on my shirt. I hope that doesn't matter. Okay, almost done. All right, I think that's good enough because it's going to scrape into the other pieces. All right, so let me just start with that. Now I'm going to get this open. All right, okay. Why am I smelling everything now? All right, so let me turn it sideways so that you guys can see it. All right, so I'm just going to scrape it. Okay. Oh my God, this is so cool. Oh my goodness, this is really cool. Look at that. Okay, I think I have too much on here. So 
So let me put some back in. All right. Did you see I hardly put anything on and look how much I'm taking off. So basically this paint is going to last or should I, what should I call it? Chalk paste, chalk paste. It's not really paint, chalk paste. It's going to last me forever. So what I'm going to do right when I'm done with this, I'm going to go put it in a bucket of water and that will clean this. Look at how, see I'm taking off like any little bits I can. I'm just going to put them, they said to put them right back in. I'm so scared to take this off. Does it say when? Work quickly and do not allow paint or ink to dry. Ah, okay, I gotta work quickly. Oh, oh, I did it again. Darn it. I'm, it's gonna, I'm not working quickly, people. The back, all right. I'm doing all the wrong things. I had to write back on that and I forgot. All right, so I'm just gonna take this off. I'm scared. Can you see it? Okay. Oh, oh goodness gracious. Come here. Oh my gosh. How cool is this? Oh my goodness. Do I love this? Wow. That's amazing. Look at that. I love this. All right, so I'm going to work quickly. <laughs> Do the other one. All right, um, I guess, should I pick it up one time just so it's not as sticky? All right. Okay, let me try that again. So let me just put it down. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to, oh, that's too much. I'm, I'm trying to work quickly. All right. Okay. All right, I don't wanna to put too much on like I did before. Well, it doesn't really matter, it goes right back in, right? All right, so I'm just going to, I should have like a napkin or something here, but I don't, so I'll just use, I'll use a piece of, here I'm gonna use a piece of dirty cardboard. Okay, all right. All right, now get my squeegee, right? Okay, and oh. Oh, I went the wrong way. Okay, let me just go this way. <gasps> Did I go up top? No. See, I almost went off the edge because I'm nervous. <laughs> okay, all right. Let me put this on here. This is so cool. Guys, loving this. Do I recommend it? Absolutely. If you're in the market for some really cool stencils, um, this might be the way to go because this seriously is so cool. And you know I love sticky stencils. I talk about it all the time. Okay, it says don't let it dry too fast. Okay, so let me put this here. All right, let me pick this up. Let's hope this turns out as well as the other one. Oh, love. Love, 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 oh my gosh. Look how amazing that is. Now, I could have moved that down, but I do have an idea. All right, so what if my symbol in the center, because I could have moved that down, but what if I make this the symbol in the center? Because that would look really cute. And I know I have the bees here, but I don't know if I want a bee now. I might put it over there, but what do you think about that? And I'll just line it up to that flower. Okay, I know you're going to say I'm boring, I'm doing all white, but I really like the look of it, so that's what I'm going to do. Alright, give me a second, I'm going to get this on, and then I'll be right back with you. Okay, so it only took me two tries to get that centered, and I think it is. I think. Wish me luck. Okay, I don't want it to dry, the paint, because I have it open. And I did um, put it on my shirt so that it kind of took the sticky back off a little bit. Oh, I forgot to do the back again. <laughs> I 
<laughs> I have to do that part immediately. Okay, so I just wrote B for back because they really do look the same on both sides. So, so this I'm gonna need like nothing, right? So let's just put a little bit on. I'm not gonna put a lot on here. Okay, that's all. That's all I'm gonna put on that one. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my squeegee and just squeegee the rest off. And I have a smaller amount of space, so like the edging, I don't want to go off the edge because I would be very sad. Even though I can just wipe it away, they said just use a baby wipe. <sighs> Some dry pieces. <sighs> okay. All right, that's done. So all I'm going to do is just pull this up. Oh my goodness, is this not the coolest? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my nail dryer quick to see if I can... Oh, I just spit on it. I just spit on it. <laughs> to see if I can dry this quicker so that I can put my little bees around it because it does need something else in the middle. It does say it dries really fast, but I'm still nervous. How do I know if it's dry? I guess I'll just touch it. I'm scared. I think that I'm touching it, so I think it's okay. I think. It doesn't feel wet at all. It feels really dry. Okay, so let's try this. I'm going to turn this off. Now, let me get my bee. Bees. Plural. So I have this one. And I have this one. I don't love that one. So maybe, should I just use one? I don't know. I like this bee better. All right, so let me write back on the back before I forget. Do it before you even pull it off. That would be the smart thing to do. See, I'll make all the mistakes so you don't have to. Yeah, you don't need to watch me trying to do this because this might take a while. There we go. Forget it. I got it. All right, I'm scared. All right, so let's do this way. Oh my gosh, I'm so nervous. Where should I put it? Like right there? And you Oh, that's cool. You know what's really cool? You can see through them. And I don't only mean like I mean I can see through the green too. That way All right. That way you can see where you want it positioned. Okay, just a tiny bit. All right. So let's just go like this. Let me just pull this up. Oh, good. Nothing came off. That's awesome. Can I use the same one? All right. Let me do three. So I'm going to do one. All right. So let me do the other one, too. This one kind of coming into it. Maybe I'll do it like that. And then I might only do two. Because I can't do the other one unless it's dry. Alright, that's a little too much. Let me take some of that off. Alright, I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, let me go like this. Alright. I don't know why I was nervous because this was like super easy. This is ridiculous. Alright, that's it, right? Oh, I have it on my hand. That's what you have to make sure that you don't get it on from your hands. All right, let's see. So cool. So cool. I think I'm only going to do two. I don't think I want three. I think it's going to be overcrowded. It's going to be a crowded hive. Tell me that is not the coolest. Oh, I absolutely love how this turned out. It honestly looks like I bought it. And yes, as you can tell, I love chocolature and I completely recommend it. And I will leave everything linked in the description box if you want to go check out her page and order any of these items. And I hope you like this as much as I do.
so here we are at the final reveal my favorite part of the video we get to recap everything we just made so the first thing I made was this little honey pot jar I loved how it turned out super cheap to make one dollar can't beat it and it just is adorable next we moved on to the two fall floral cans super inexpensive to make used items I had around the house and Dollar Tree florals so pretty got me this is totally getting me ready for the autumn season then we used the chocolate chore kit set and I cannot recommend this more. I'm so excited to use this again, and I will leave my friends' links and pages below if you would like to order this for yourself. So tell me in the comments below, which one of these is your favorite? I'm going to go with the sign, just because I'm so excited to use it again, and it was really fun to try out. Tell me which one's your favorite below. So that's it, that's the end of my video. I hope you liked everything you saw here today and I hope it inspires you to make something of your own. If you have not checked me out on Instagram over at Cat Luna Designs, please do so. I share some more of my personal life over there, some positivity, and I let you know when I'll be uploading some fun videos. If you would like, I would love if you shared some pictures of some of the things you have made. So yeah, I would love for you to visit me over there on Instagram. Also, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It always helps my channel. And if you do like my channel, please consider subscribing if you haven't already. I do upload every week and yeah, that would be great. And as always, thanks for watching. Bye. If you'd like to... And some positive and that's about it so we're at the end and ah.